We've designed the Dualtech DT8000 series to offer you an easy and fast installation. To install these sensors in a home or business, all you need is the following. Your hands, a flat blade screwdriver, and an electric drill with a Phillips bit. First, open the sensor. To do this, firmly hold the back plate, press in the tab, and separate the two halves. To begin wiring, open the entry port with a twist of a screwdriver. Pull your wire through the wire entry port. You are now ready to mount the back plate to the wall. To save you time, the mounting screws are already nested in the back plate. There's no more looking for loose screws. Take out one screw and insert the screw into the collar to make it easier to mount the unit with one hand. The collar grasps the screw firmly in place, hands free. After installing the first screw, it is recommended to attach the second screw into the tamper plate collar as shown. The breakaway rear tamper plate must be mounted to a stud, solid wood, or with a firm wall anchor supplied with the sensor. You have two options to attach the wires, either directly to the terminal block attached to the back plate, or you can remove the terminal block. Here's how. Place two fingers over the tabs on either side of the terminal block. Firmly pull down on the tabs, then pull the terminal block away from the tabs using the thumb of your other hand. Wire the terminal block as shown on the wiring information in the installation instructions. Push the excess wire back into place and snap the terminal block onto the back plate. Now you can pick up the main sensor housing to make adjustments to the sensor as needed. You can adjust the motion sensor to look down by simply turning the look down adjustment clockwise until the arrow points to the on position. For dual tech sensors, adjust the microwave from minimum to maximum sensitivity by turning clockwise for maximum or counterclockwise for minimum. There are two dip switches, one for turning the LED on or off and one for turning the pet immunity on or off. It is important to note that when pet immunity is turned on, always make sure that the look down zone is turned off. For the Mirror Optics DT8050A and IS3050A, you can disable the motion sensor look down by pulling the tab towards you. Adjust the microwave sensitivity from minimum to maximum by turning clockwise for maximum or counterclockwise for minimum. You can adjust the end of line resistor by sliding the appropriate dip switch to the on position. Set value by the type of control panel you're using. There are two dip switches, one for turning the anti-mask feature on or off and one for turning the LED on or off. To provide strain relief to the wire harness, it is recommended that you attach the cable tie wrap included with each sensor. Now take the sensor housing and align the tabs on top and snap the cover in place. The LED will begin to flash slowly for about 30 seconds during warm-up. When the detector is initialized and ready for walk testing, the LED will stop flashing. You are now ready to walk test the pattern and make any necessary adjustments. Walk test period will automatically time out in 10 minutes. You have the option of locking the cover to avoid tampering by turning the lock clockwise with a screwdriver. If the walk test mode is timed out, you can easily re-enable the walk test mode by standing four feet or less from the sensor and waving a flashlight beam over the lens four times. The LED indicator should start blinking, allowing you to start the walk test period over again. We hope our installer-friendly features and this how-to video have helped you complete this installation in a snap. If you need further assistance, please review the installation instructions, visit Honeywell's online support at MyWebTech, or call the Honeywell support line at 800-323-4576.